how has it been six months since I uploaded this harvesting video? It's now the 1st of April and almost a year since I first got my allotment. I've barely done anything over autumn and winter. I gave it a little tidy back in October. Then we had some big changes in our back garden. So we got three silky chickens, which were free from Facebook Marketplace. They came with the coop, food and everything. It has been amazing to be able to get our own eggs every day. Two have continued to lay all through winter, so we haven't had to buy any eggs since November. Back to the allotment, we briefly visited on Christmas Eve to harvest some Brussels sprouts. As you can tell, it was super windy, but I was really happy with how they turned out. And then February the 6th, I gave birth to our second daughter, Elizabeth. A month later, I was back at the allotment with my friend Tabby, feeling motivated to get it in shape, ready for spring. Lots of weeding to be done and some strumming at some point, but it has rained no end this winter. And as you can see, it's quite boggy. Surprisingly, some beds weren't too bad. And then others towards the back needed quite a bit of work. Don't even get me started on the grassy bit at the top. All of these beds ended up getting cleared, weeded, the canes and netting put away, ready to plant in. And then look at the potato patch that I dug. We literally have a pond forming. I'm not sure I'm going to grow potatoes in the ground again because the harvest was just so poor. Ideally, I would like to put in some more raised beds on this grassy area and get some potatoes in there instead. The fruit bushes all have buds on, which is nice to see. They're looking a bit choked with all the grass, so I really do want to clear a circle around each of them at least. We gave the little strawberry patch a good tidy up by cutting off all of the runners and dead leaves. What a difference that makes. We even have some extra plants that rooted from the runners. I noticed the rhubarb that I grew from seed last year had started to bolt. So I removed the flower head and hopefully it should still be okay. And here it is. We are done with the plot tidy up for now. The beds are ready to plant in. They might just need a little bit of a compost top up at some point. Then just as we were about to leave, we decided, do you know what? While we're here, we'll get some onion sets planted. They're a mixture of autumn sets, which I didn't get time to come to the plot and do. So I potted them up in modules and spring sets, both red and yellow. I like to plant onions quite close together just because I'm not bothered about getting huge onions. I'm quite happy with smaller ones because I find I never really use a full one in cooking anyway. And we're done for now. I will hopefully head back here in a couple of weeks.